Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm going to be filming my review and a 3D my look on the Britman Times Colourpop collaboration. This collection is seriously so big that I know this video is going to be super duper long, but we just have a lot to cover in today's video. But before we get started, I just want to let you guys know that yes, I did pick up the holiday collection. I didn't get everything just because that collection is like two times bigger than this one. Like that collection was just like overwhelming but I got like the key items that I like. Along with that order I did purchase the brown sugar collection and I also got the ooh la la palette. Those three things are on its way. I think I made my order like last week or like the week before. So it should be here fairly soon but I am off to Sydney this weekend so by the time I get back like everything will for sure be here. But do let me know in the comments below which video you want to see first. The holiday, brown sugar or ooh la la. I'm personally thinking I should upload the holiday collection video first just because right now it is like you know the holiday season and it is the more recent collection. I feel like I'm just so late on brown sugar and ooh la la that it's like I'm already late, it's okay if I'm even later at this point, you know? I don't even know if anybody's gonna watch it because I'm that late, but I'm thinking holiday collection first. But that's just what I think. I wanna know what you guys are thinking. So let me know in the comments down below what you wanna see first, and I'll kinda like tally up your votes and whatever video gets the most votes, obviously I'll do that first. But for today's video, we're gonna be focusing on Bretman's collection with ColourPop. We have some new items, like new formulas, in this collection as well which is pretty exciting so yeah if you guys are interested in hearing my opinion on this collection seeing some swatches hearing about some dupes comparisons seeing three looks I told you this video is gonna be long if you guys are interested in seeing all that then just continue watching Okay, first I feel like I should give you product info and how much everything is, what you're getting, what this collection is like, just because it's so big. Colourpop's collections are getting bigger and bigger and I just, I don't... Oh, these videos are getting very long. This collection is kind of split into twos. You do get the wet collection and you do get the lit collection. If you just want to get one or the other collection, you, it is a 44 US dollars each. If you want to get both collections together, it is 85 US dollars. So within the wet collection and also the lit collection, you will be getting an eyeshadow palette, a lip kit that consists of an ultra glossy lip, an ultra satin lip, and also a lippy pencil. You'll also be getting one super shock blush and also the new glitterly obsessed body glitters that comes within the each collection if you get both you'll be getting double of each but obviously in different color schemes you can also buy everything separately if that is an easier option for you and I think that is probably the better option to buy things separately because after I tell you guys my thoughts so if you want to get these items separately the palette is 12 US dollars the body glitter and the super shock blush are both 8 US dollars the lippy pencils are, I believe, already exist in Colourpop's line. They're not Bretman's shades. But the Ultra Glossy Lip is $6 and the Ultra Satin Lip is $6.50. So yeah, let's just jump straight in to the review. I'm gonna review product by product. I feel like that is just more easier to hear about and for me to talk about my opinion on everything so I'm not like all over the place. But my first impression on this whole collection Firstly, it reminded me of Solima where it was like a blue and like an orange but in this case it was more like blue and red and I know he wanted to go off like the Filipino flag but it did remind me of Solima and especially the wet palette really looks similar to the Ma palette in my opinion. Also the packaging is really stunning as well. I do like the little details that he gave to his collection. It's just very extra just like him. Especially with like the lip products. On the wet lip products it has like the waves on it and then on the lit lip products it has like the flames on it. Okay first I'm gonna start off with the wet collection and talk about the eyeshadow palette. So this is the wet eyeshadow palette. It comes with eight eyeshadows in here in their pressed formula. We haven't seen a size like this before so it is a first. Honestly I don't really know where to start with this palette. I think a lot of the shades in here look very similar to the shades in the Ma palette. There are a lot of dupes for this. There are a lot of similarities in other ColourPop palettes. So in my opinion, I feel like maybe you don't really need this if you do have the Ma palette already because I think you can create very very similar looks 
with the mile palette. The only shades that I think are personally very unique is this one here in the first shade which is called Finished and the one right under it which is called Mood. I think these two shades are probably the shades that I haven't seen from Colourpop yet but everything else you can find something very 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 similar from Colourpop already. My eye look right now looks exactly out of Dream Street in my opinion. So I personally feel like this is nothing too special. And it's crazy to say that because, you know, it's all blues, it's very fun and loud. But to me, I just feel like Colourpop has the Ma palette. There are some blues in the Dream Street. You know, there are blues sprinkled out Colourpop's palettes that for me, owning all of them, this one wasn't really one that I really needed. But in saying that, if you don't have like a blue-based palette and you really want to play with blues and you want to support Britman, then by all means, I think get it. I think it performs very nicely. I think the shade that really lacks is this blue here, which is called Unchillin'. It's just not as pigmented. You definitely got to build it up. But nonetheless, everything on my eyes blend out beautifully. I didn't have any problems with it. So for the color selection, if you're just creating a look and just using this palette on its own, I think it is quite hard. I mean, I do like the look that I created, but I wish that it came with like one more matte and that matte was like a very dark, deep, brown or something. I feel like all the matte shades are very medium tone. Um, there isn't something dark enough to deepen everything up. So now I'm quickly just going to put on the screen the dupes for this palette. You'll see there are a lot of comparable shades and also a lot of dupes. And it's funny that I noticed that the dupes, they actually come from collab palettes or very, very recent palettes. I feel like a lot of you guys will have these collab palettes or these recent palettes or these popular palettes. For example, Dream Street, Yes Please, the Ma palette. All of these are recent palettes, they are collab palettes or they are bestseller palette. You know what I mean? So if you guys do have a lot of Colourpop palettes, I don't think you really do need the wet palette. Next up, I want to talk about the body glitter, which is in this shade OMG I'm Wet. And guys, I love this. I was not expecting a lot from this, like at all. I was expecting this to be really, really bad. And it is a body glitter and I did use this around my eyes. So I was super, super, super careful when I was removing it. If you are not like that comfortable with putting something that close to your eyes, then don't. Didn't see any issues with it. I wasn't sensitive to it at all. This one I wasn't, the other one I was. But yeah, I'm just really impressed with it. It's just really beautiful chunky glitters and it's just super easy to use because it's already a bit like tacky so it just sticks onto your eyes automatically. You don't need a glitter primer, you don't need anything. It's just super convenient and if you like going to like festivals and putting glitter on your body and that kind of stuff, I think this is a great way to go because it's so affordable as well. I've seen glitters for a very expensive price, okay? I bought like a Violet Voss one for I don't know how much but it was a lot more expensive than this and you need like a glitter primer for that. So that's like an extra product that you will need. But this one, it already comes ready. My only concern is is I don't know how long this will actually last. It might dry up and lose its consistency. So that's the only thing that's on my mind. This one actually has a lot more chunkier like specks of glitters and also it has little star glitters in it which makes it more mermaid like and I just I love this one I think I'm really impressed with it it feels very light and comfortable like you forget that you actually have it on so now we move on to the lip kit I'm not really gonna talk about the lippy pencil since it's not really part of his collaboration but in the lip kit you will get BFF3 which is a very very popular lip liner for people that have a deeper skin tone but I'm gonna just mainly talk about the two lip products that come in the wet collection so the first one is the ultra glossy lip in the shade I'm not even gonna pronounce that but it's like the light blue one it appears a light blue in the tube but once you apply it onto your lips it's pretty much just like a milky clear gloss there's not that much glitter in it like you can see little little specks of glitters in the tube but once it's on the lips it's almost just like completely clear there's not much glitters that you can really see I really like this I think this is an amazing gloss to put over matte lipsticks matte look of lipsticks or anything like that and then the ultra satin lip I am wearing it today this lip color is the only lip color that I feel like goes well with all of the looks and the palettes but it 
goes on super streaky. It's not pigmented. When you apply it, you can still see your skin underneath and you can see the brush stroke. It's just very patchy and it does give you butthole lips almost instantly. And I'm just wearing it because it looks nice with the eye look, but honestly, I wouldn't recommend this one. To me, the ultra lips really vary. Some ultra mattes I love, some ultra mattes I don't like. Same with the satins, it just really depends on the shade and how it's formulated. But for this one, I just, I definitely would pass. And the blush in the wet collection is called Stop It. This one is more of like a burnt orange. I'm actually wearing this one today. I am in love with these Super Shock blushes right now, guys. And I love this one. It's such a beautiful orange. It does not come off as pigmented, okay, on your cheeks. Unless you want it to. It's a very buildable product. Like, it's a cream blush so you just take your sponge or if you want to use a brush I would suggest a sponge you can create like a very very natural blush to something very intense if you wanted it so I like this I would highly recommend it so that was pretty much all the things in the wet collection out of the wet collection what I personally would recommend is the body glitter the super shock blush and the ultra glossy lip I feel like the palette is like I'm just 50 50 on it so I don't want to completely recommend it but these three items are my favorite from the wet collection. Now we're moving along to the lip collection. We have the eyeshadow palette once again in the eight pan layout. This honestly reminds me of baby version of the Yes Please palette. The look that I created with this palette, you can just use the Yes Please palette and create something very, very similar. But I do love both. I think the shade period and also like are very special and just so beautiful and easy to blend out just amazing red shades I just love them but again for the shade selection I do wish there was more of like a darker brown something to deepen up the look same with the wet palette I feel like all the mattes throughout these two palettes are just all like medium tones there was nothing very very dark to deepen up their look so that was like an issue for me for these kind of palettes it's honestly up to you to decide whether you want to get it or not I have a ton of palettes you guys know that but I don't regret getting this one I mean it is nothing so so unique but it's definitely an enjoyable palette and if you love the yes please palette you definitely will love this one as well As for the body glitter, this one is called She Lit. This one is a little bit different from the one in the wet collection. I think this one is a lot harder to pick up on your brush and put it onto your skin. Also, the glitters in here are a little bit smaller. There are no stars. It's just straight glitter. It wasn't like hard to use. It's just harder than the blue one to use. Also for this one, I did get a little bit sensitive when I was using it. Like my skin was a little bit touchy touchy um, just in that area. So just be a little bit aware of that if you do have very sensitive skin. But either way, I do like it, but I prefer the blue one over the red one. So as for the lip bundle, um, the lip pencil you'll be getting is Duke's. I'm not gonna again talk about that one too much just because I don't think it's part of his actual collection. First guy in the lip kit is the Ultra Glossy Lip in I See You. It's like a pure gold on the lips, like a metallic gold almost. You can definitely build this up to be very, very metallic or to be like uh, more of like an everyday gloss. I feel like this is a little bit too gold for me against my skin tone especially that for me, this gloss is not like my favorite, but if you like gold glosses, you probably will really enjoy this one. As for the Ultra Satin Lip in Wig, it goes on very beautifully. There's no patchiness with this one. It's very pigmented, very smooth, very easy to apply. It's just, I don't understand this lip color with this collection. It didn't go with anything. It didn't go with the lip palette. It didn't go with the wet palette. It didn't even go with this eye look either. I just feel like it didn't go with this collection at all. This was just too loud for this collection, but it is a beautiful color in general. Just for the looks that I created, it just felt out of place. And as for the blush, this one is a lot more brighter, more vibrant, but again, these blushes, once you put them on, they are very faint. You can make them very natural. You know, it doesn't look this bright on your cheeks, so don't get 
Two alarms. I think both of the blushes are so beautiful and I definitely will get my use out of them. So from the lip collection, I personally would recommend the lid palette. I know this might not be for everyone just because you might have a lot of these shades in your collection. You probably do. But for me personally, I like it. I think it's a great addition. And then I will also recommend the Super Shock blush. Just because I'm really obsessed with the blushes right now and I just love blushes. So I have to recommend this one. That was pretty much all my thoughts. I've kind of been approaching my reviews a little bit differently these days. I don't want to like just sit here and recommend something to you guys just because I like it so much. Like I can rave about it and talk why I like it, but I don't want to like pressure you guys to buy anything that I recommend just because it might not work out for you. You might have something very similar in your collection. We all own completely different things in our collections, but just take everything with a grain of salt and just apply it to your concerns. So yeah, with that being said, hopefully the review was helpful along with like the dupes and comparisons in there but now we can move along to the swatches and also the three demos Okay guys, so we're gonna jump straight into look number one. This is what we will be creating today. First, we're gonna start off with the shade Skinny Legend on my Makeup Collective number 16 brush. And I'm gonna kind of use this shade to just sit down my concealer and just apply like a wash of color all over my lid, especially in my crease area. Now I'm taking the shade Iwa Beach on my Colourpop Tapered Blending Brush and this is going to be our transition shade. I'm first going to pop that straight into the crease using windshield wiping motions and I'm just looking straight down into my mirror. That way all my creases are nicely flat. Next, moving on to the shade um, Chillin' on my Morphe M433. I'm gonna start focusing this shade on the outer corner of my eye first, and then I'll slowly bring that towards the inner part of my crease. I do find this shade to be very, I guess, sheer. It's definitely a shade that you need to build on. It's not as pigmented like on the first swipe. But I guess when you're playing with these kind of colors, maybe you do want them to be a little bit less pigmented. That way you can have more control over it and it doesn't go out of hand too quickly. Next, I'm taking the shade Low um, Crying on my Makeup Collective number 18 brush. I am using this shadow wet and I'm just gonna place that right on the center of my lid space. And this is a really beautiful blue. I'm gonna focus mostly on the center and then once I have like next to nothing products left on my brush, I just like to blend it to the sides and that will make my blending job a little bit easier. And also around my crease, I am just patting around it. That way I'm not getting like a straight cut crease. I want it to be somewhat soft. And I'm just going back with um, Chillin' and just blending those shades together. Now I'm taking the shade Thickums on my Makeup Collective number 4 brush and I'm also using the shade Wet as well. I'm going to place that right in that inner part of my eye and I'm going to mesh it with Lol I'm Crying and it's going to kind of turn it into like a very light baby blue steel. And also again around the edges of that shadow around my crease, I'm just patting it. That way it can fade out very softly. Now I'm taking the shade Finished on my Sigma E30 brush and I'm going to use this to highlight my inner corner. I think this shade is actually very unique. It just really brightens up that inner corner. It has like a light baby blue tinge to it. And now I'm just going to mix a little bit of I'm um, Chillin' and Iwa Beach on my Sigma E55 brush. And I'm going to use this all over my lower lash line. Just smudging it pretty low because I do want like a very bluey base 
for the glitter that we're going to put on top. So I'm just going to connect it at the outer corner as well so everything can just come together as one. Focus most of the darkness closest to my lash line and then once most of that product is off my brush, I'll slowly bring it down towards my eye bags. <laughs> Now I'm taking the shade Mood on my Sigma E75 brush, not using this shade wet, but I'm just going to put that right underneath my lower lash line just to give that lower lash line a little bit of shimmer. Since we are putting, you know, more thicker glitters on top, I want there to be like a little bit of a shimmer base. I know this eye look is a lot of shimmer, it's very out there, but... I mean, Bretman himself is very extra. I feel like I just gotta be this extra when I'm using his collection. It also turns the base a lot more darker blue, which is great because it's gonna suit the glitters a little bit more. So before we move on, I'm quickly just gonna go off camera and give myself a wing liner, and then I'll be right back to finish off the rest of the eyes. Okay, so now that I have my wing on, I'm going to now line my bottom waterline. I'll be using the ColourPop Creme Gel Liner in the shade Prance. Prance? This is my first time actually using it, and I love it. Okay, and now for the fun part, I'm going to be taking the Glitterly Obsessed Body Glitter in the shade OMG I'm Wet. And I'm going to use my Sigma F70 brush. And I'm going to focus it really close up to my lash line first, just by patting it on. And then once I feel like there's nothing much left on, I'm going to slowly bring it down. Just gently patting it around. So I want the most glitters underneath my lash line so it looks like we're kind of crying tears. And I'm working in kind of like an upside down triangle. In this glitter, there's um, a little bit more chunkier glitters, like there's little stars in here. I think this formula is actually very easy to work with and I'm actually really impressed with it. I honestly thought I wasn't going to like it, but I feel like it's just so easy. You don't need glue and it looks so pretty as well. Talking about the chunkier glitters, I actually took one of the stars that's in this glitter. On my tweezer and I just popped it right on my inner corner just like that and I thought that was like a cute little touch that you can do so now that our eyes are done we're gonna use the super shock blush that comes in this collection this is in the shade stop it so this is part of the wet collection since I'm using the wet palette today it makes sense that I should use the blush that pairs well with it I did use it on this side already and I personally feel like it doesn't really go well with this like really intense look so I'm just gonna use like a very little bit because I do want to show you what it looks like on the skin and I've recently really gotten into the super shock blushes and I'm just gonna dab it just right underneath the glitter tear since they do come in contact with my cheekbones so I'm just gonna dab it on a little bit so now I'm just going in to my Colourpop in Nudendo palette and I'm gonna be taking the shade Fine Align and I'm gonna use this to highlight the tops of my cheekbone and this will kind of add to the glitter tears as well Okay guys, so this is the completed look for look number one. This look was actually inspired by Jay Kisser. She did a look using the Wet Collection as well and I got inspiration from her with like the glitter tears. But for lashes, I am wearing the Iconic Lights from House of Lashes. And for the final lip pairing, I decided to go with the Ultra Satin Lip in the shade She Cute, which is part of the Wet Collection. Okay, let's get started with look number two. This is what we will be creating today. I'm gonna first take the shade or whatever on my ColourPop Tapered Blending Brush. And this is going to be our transition shade. I think this shade is actually a very beautiful transition shade. You do need to build this one up a little bit, I feel. Like it's not pigmented right off the bat. You do need to just build it up, but I think that is a good thing to have in an eyeshadow is to build it up, especially with transition shades. 
And now we'll be taking the shade Like on my Morphe M433. And I'm first gonna pack this color right on that outer corner of my eye. And then I'll slowly bring it towards that inner part of my crease. Since this time we will be cutting the crease, I want a little bit of definition there. Next, we're going to take the shade Macchiato on my ColourPop E9 brush. And this is going right in the outer corner once again. It's going exactly where like went, but we're just going to focus it a little bit more lower to the lash line. I wish this Macchiato color was a little bit darker. You can see it's on the same tone as like. It's not really that much darker than the previous shade that we used. It's almost like the same middle tone. Um, so I do wish this was a little bit darker, you could create more depth with this, but you can see like it doesn't create much more darkness to the eye look. Now I'm just taking some concealer on the back of my hand and I'm using my Vanity Planner Small Cream Shadow Brush. And I'm going to use this to cut out my cut crease. We are creating a half cut crease. So just looking straight down into my mirror, I'm going to place that right in the inner corner of my lid. And I'm slowly going to bring it up all the way up to my crease, like past my crease. Once I have the generalized shape that I like, I'm going to look up and it's going to mark a line where I need to go above. What I like to do is just take a thinner brush, which is a paintbrush that I'm using, and just go up to that line, making everything look a lot sharper. Next, I'm going to take the shade She Got Money on my Makeup Collective number 18 brush using this shadow Wet. I'm going to place that right on top of that concealer, just all over, patting it on. Now I'm taking the shade Cleo Amour. I'm not really sure if I'm saying that one right, but I'm using my Sigma E25 brush. And I'm going to use this shadow to blend the shimmer and mattes together. I think the yellow would just really pull this look together. It goes nicely with the gold and it just blends into the reds very easily. So I'm just dabbing where they meet, swishing it back and forth and that will blend everything out. I'm going back into the shade Alike on my Sigma E55 brush and I'm going to use this shadow all over my lower lash line. Just from outer to inner corner, connecting it with the shadow at the outer part as well because we're going to be putting some red glitter there. So you want to make sure there is a base for that glitter. Quickly just taking my Odyssey in Mode Star Eyeliner in the shade Coffee. I'm going to use this to tight line my bottom waterline. Okay, so at this point all of the eyeshadows are pretty much done. I'm going to go off camera and do my wing liner and pop my lashes on and then we'll come back and do the glitters and put the cheeks on and everything. I like that. So now that I have my liner on and also my lashes, I'm now going to take the Glitterly Obsessed Body Glitter in the shade She Lit. I'm using my Sigma F70 brush. I'm going to focus this like right underneath my wing, just like in that outer region. So I'm just going to pat it closest to that wing and then just slowly dab it out so that way it's kind of like a little gradient if you want to say. So now I'm taking the shade Ooh She's Blushing, the Super Shock Cheek. I'm just going to use a little bit on my sponge. I'm just going to tap some on the back of my hand, that way there's like not too much product because it is very, very vibrant. Taking the ColourPop in Nudendo palette, I'm using the shade On The Loose to highlight my cheekbones and also my brow bone and inner corners. Okay guys, so this is the completed look for look number two. For lashes, I am wearing the Boudoir Light from House of Lashes. And for my final lip pairing, I decided to go with the Ultra Glossy Lip in the shade I See You. But I hope you guys do like this look and kind of learn how you can use the glitters in different placements. There are just so many ways you could use it.
Okay, so let's get started with the final look. This is what we will be creating today. We are using both the wet and lit palette together. So first I'm going into the lit palette and taking the shade period on my ColourPop tapered blending brush and this is going to be our transition shade. I think this shade is actually so beautiful and very pretty, super easy to blend out. Now using the shade Macchiato on my Morphe M433, I'm going to start packing this on to my lid space and then once I don't have too much product left on my brush, I'm going to slowly bring that towards my transition shade. Now I'll be taking the shade Fishy from the Wet Palette on my Sigma E55 brush and I'm going to start packing this on top of Macchiato but I'm going to focus it mostly on my lid space first like very close to my lash line where you first apply your brush that is where the most product is going to hit and that's where it's going to be most pigmented so once all that pigment is gone you can start blending it towards where you want it to transition to like more of a gradient now i'm going back into the shade period I'm using my Makeup Collective number 11 brush and I'm going to use this all over my bottom lash line and I'm going to connect it as always at the outer corner. Now I'm taking a bit of macchiato on my Makeup Collective number 11 brush. I'm going to push this up against my waterline just to deepen everything up and make it a little bit more smoky. And now I'm just taking the ColourPop Creme Gel Liner in the shade Fast Lane. It's almost the same shade as Fishy from the Wet Palette, but just in an eyeliner form. And I love this shade. I've used it so many times in my videos as well. I'll be popping that into my bottom waterline. Lastly, I'll be taking the shade Batting on my Makeup Collective number 10 brush. And I'm going to use this shadow to highlight my inner corners it has like a pinky base with like heaps of gold reflex so that's actually it for all of the eyeshadows i'm gonna quickly go off camera and do my wing liner and pop on my lashes and then i'll be back to finish off the whole face so now I'm taking the Super Shock blush in the shade Stop It I'm gonna place this on the tops of my cheeks So quickly, I'm just taking this shade here from the ColourPop in Nudendo palette. This is called On The Loose. I'm going to use this on the tops of my cheekbones and also my brow bone. So this is the final completed look. It's a little bit of a mix of a wet and lit collection together. I really wanted to give you a look in case you did buy both of the collections. So this is like the final result. For my lashes, I am once again wearing the Boudoir Lights from House of Lashes. And for my final lip pairing, I decided to go with She Q Ultra Satin Lip Love. The color combinations. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys like this look as well. Okay guys, that is a wrap on today's video. If you guys stuck around all the way to the end, I just want to thank you so, so much for watching. Like it truly means the world that you guys watch the entire video. Like this video is so long. If you did find this video helpful, be sure to give the video a thumbs up for me. Comment down below which ColourPop video you want me to see next, either the holiday, brown sugar, or ooh la la. Let me know your thoughts on this collection. What did you guys pick up? Are you going to pick anything up? And with that being said, that is is it for today's video i want to thank you guys once again for watching please subscribe if you haven't already i love you guys and i'll see you in my next video bye